So I think you guys can notice by the background of me, I'm pretty a big Gintama fan. Like one of my most favorite series in Shonen Jump. And it was confirmed that the movie announcement that we was getting is indeed a live action film adaptation of in 2017 of Gintama. And, uh, and, uh, why? Okay, let, let's just read in the fucking, like, the details and all that. This year's 31st uh, issue of Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump magazine is announcing on Monday that Hideaki Sorachi's Gintama manga will get a live-action film annotation in 2017. Shun Oguri live-action from the, being starred in uh, Space Brothers, Lupin the Third, Terra from Mars will play the protagonist Sakata Gintoki and Yuchi Fukada live action of H uh, Hen Hentai Kamen Mr. Nia Sion in the convenience store is directing the film as well as penning the strip. Like in the previous issue of the magazine hinted at an announcement on July 4th Warner Brothers Entertainment listed as the resident uh, a Gintama film domain name. Now like, obviously this is being recorded as of the 30th and that's because on the 4th that's when the actual magazine comes out. And that's where we get the news of this. Like, you know, since we get the magazine, like, leaks out, like, a couple of days earlier. Why? Like, one thing I don't want to hear, even though it's just an actor and I, like, like, I hate to break this to people and all that, but... One, like, you know, I, I, I am, in a way, excited, uh, like, for this movie. I feel like, you know, it could be something really funny and all that. It could be, like, something new twist and all that that Gintama hasn't done. It's a bold step. However, though... Name me in the last good time that any person or that has seen a good live action adaptation from a manga. The last one I've heard that was okay was the Oromonogatari one. Like that. Terra for Mars is infamous for fucking flopping. That thing, and that's a very highly popular manga, and that did fucking terrible. You know, like, same thing, you know, with, like, the Parasite movies were, like, kind of like, a bit mocked as well. Like, you know, Attack on Titan as well. Like, they're, like, uh movies. And, it's like, and especially the whole high controversy as well with what the FMA movie is doing as well. That, like, a whole big thing about the series Ishval and, you know, racism seemingly not being there since every Every single person is being Japanese, like, uh, like so you can have like, uh, like some skepticism when it comes in, like you know, like I haven't seen Sh Shun Lyogri in like in any of his roles and all that. Like I don't know if the guy is a fantastic actor or not. I don't know and all that. Like you know, that's one thing. Like you know, I can't say for sure and all that. You know, like you know, like I know like for the fact that I think he's like the same age as me. I think he's like 22 as well. But like from what like from what it sounds like though, it's just like. I have no, and I just like, just coming from it like that, I want to just let people straight know, I have no hope for this. I, I absolutely have no expectations coming into it at all, like that, like, you know, like, that's like, I'm just getting that straight out there right now. I have zero expectations to this thing, and I th I'm going to keep it that way, because I am going to watch this, regardless of what, you know, it's going to time at the end of the day, but... I don't know, like, may maybe in my eyes, it's just, like, I'm so attached to the characters in that format, and, like, you know, the voice actors and all that, because that's whenever I see Gintoki, I will always think of that voice actor, I'll al always think of Tomokazu uh, Sugita, like, I always think of him, I'll always think of Kaga as voice actor, I'll think of all of them when they do that stuff, because they're fantastic actors, and I'm like, why didn't they just do what they normally do with, like, the Gintama little, um, events that they have when they get the voice actors? Fuck it, just have them, like, dye their hair and let them be the characters. They've been the characters for so long, like, it, I don't know, it just feels weird, like, they're doing this, so, I don't know, like, it's just such a weird thing for me, especially, like, especially, like, you know, the last movie we had was the, like, the final chapter be Forever Yorizer movie, and that's perfect. And I knew straight away... Regardless of what, if this was a live action or a movie, like, that wasn't going to change my mind. I, that's still one of my, th that, that is my favorite Shonen Jump movie, and it probably will be, because it's fucking fantastic. But a live action, and knowing that it's already 20, like, J Japan has a serious issue where it's just like, we're now in a movie, Pr production starts in one week, like, most movies take a couple of years to kind of fruition and just come out there, and they just like, shit them out. <laughs> like, that's just how it is, it's just like, 
it's weird. Like it's uh, it's fucking weird. And I like how do you like with a live action series like Gintama? Like how do you get around the dumb shit in it? Like how do you work around that stuff? Like you've got to think about the comedy, the eight, like the amanto, the fucking ships and air that. Like, this movie is either going to be heavily cg died, like, the fuck out of it, or they're going to change tons of stuff with that script and all that, but I think we can kind of confirm that, yeah, we are going to have Kaga, we are going to have Shinpachi, we are going to have Gintoki, we are going to have, like, you know, we are going to, like, probably have every character and all that, you know, like, you know, I think people will rage if we don't, if we don't see, like, Hijikata, Kondo, like, Sogo, like, if, if we don't have Katsuna, Taka, like, I imagine it's going to be the own version of Lady Takasu. Like, I, I need to see what it's going to be like, because it just, this project baffles me. It generally baffles me, like, what's going to be happening with this. But then at the same time, I have zero. I have zero expectations and zero hopes for this movie, like that. And it's like, I hope you guys are seeing some good live actions, like, Japanese films and all that. Like, I really hope you're doing all that. I know there's some fantastic J-dramas out there, but every, like, near live action I've, movie I've seen, especially of an adaptation of the popular manga, is been fucking terrible for me. So, yeah, I have zero expectations, and I'm curious to see what you guys are going to think in the comments section down below. And I'm really curious as well, like, how Japan's going to take this, because they fucking slaughter Terra for Mars. And Japan fucking adores Kintama, so I'm wanting to see what their response is going to be because I know they adore the voice acting and I know they adore like all the people there. So we'll we'll wait and see. But that's all for me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, what do you think of this shit? Like, it's just so weird. Like having a live action movie, but well, uh, honestly, we'll have to wait and see what the first teaser preview. But like already now, like oh, moving into production like that, it's it's ridiculous. Like that movies should at least have a lot more time to cook. A, you'll be in the oven and stuff like that. Marvel spends years on them and all that. Although they have a bigger budget, it's like you just can't just shit out a movie just like that. Like, I mean, sometimes it works, but like, it's just, it's, it's something I, I need to stop thinking about. But that's all for me. Thank you much for watching as always. I'll see you guys though next time.